Hello guys, this is all from Open Source Channel and welcome again for another episode. Well, from last uh, episode, I showed you how to install a copy of Freenas. Today I'm going to do a very short uh, on how to get started. Let's get in. I'm going to log in, wait my password. On the user side, I created a user by adding a user. That's the actual user I created. User 1. I have added a path of directory, user 1. I give all the permissions that I want to give to. Read, execute. I can also do the right if I want to and I press OK. Once I do that, the first thing in mind I done, I created a user group. Let me press on this one here. This is all the users, sorry all the groups and I created the actual user group. And I put the actual user inside and of course the root and do the rest. Uh, everything is done automatically. Every time you add the user, for example, user 2, I'm going to browse and I'm going to put a user 1 if I wanted to, or I can create a new one if I wanted. I'll put the name down here. I don't need the password. I'm going to put down the. Sorry, I don't need the email. And I'm going to put down the password. I'm not going to permit sudo. Let's have this one here. There we go. I'm going to give all the permissions. I'm going to click on all users and press OK. There we go, we got the second user here that we can try. Once you do that, uh, go to storage, volumes, and as you can see, I already got some volumes there. This is the actual uh, two volumes I created. One is called Movies and one is called Music. The owner of this one is User 1. I can actually put User 2 or Root if I wanted to. And I can give all the information, uh, sorry, all the permissions. I can choose which type, Unix or Windows. i chosen Windows for this one. Once you've done that, everything looks fine anyway. I'm going to look at the entire disk I got. This is the two hard disk. One is 100 gig, the other one is 53. Then I'm going down to services and I'm going to enable every single one that I need. This is the for Windows sharing, the FTP and also the smart, I'm going to run the FTP which port I want, how many clients I want simultaneously, how many connections of each client if I want uh, login attempts, how many times the timeout, if I want anonymous login and which path are they going to look into I can give 
the entire or just the movies or just the, the music or if I want I can give on the actual user as you can see I got two users I'm going to put on movies make sure that those two are clicked transfer assumption just in case you got a very slow uh, connection and once you're done press OK now if I go to let me go out of here to my FTP filezilla and I'm going to write the host in this case is the IP now just to show you the IP is this one here 192.168.1.153 now if I don't put anything here it should connect as a anonymous as he has and as you can see you got two users or otherwise if I get out of here and I type user one and the password we connect as you can see it went straight to user one and I can also see user two only because when I create user two if you remember let me go back up here this is group let me do the users as you can see it it was inside user one but if I go back here and I put say movies uh, I apologize if I put user two on the user two and I will click OK When I disconnect and I put user two here, for example, and its password, I won't be able to see user one at all. I will be totally inside user two, as you can see here. All right, this is the FTP side of it. Now the same thing works on the uh, if you go to services again on CIF for the sharing now I can share user 1 or I can go browser and choose user 2 if I wanted to in this case I'm going to choose user 1 Unix extension zero conf shares discovery and I'm going to bind to this IP I can have multiple IP if I want by just going to the network and, and you can create a new you know go straight first on the global configurations and here you can actually add a new VLAN virtual LANs with the new IPs okay once you do that let me show you let's say that I want to map a new network and what's what I'm gonna do one nine two one six eight Five three backslash again and I'll say user one. I'm going to click finish and it's going to ask me log in a password, of course. And there we go. As you can see, there is that and the user two. But if I go back. Uh, let's see if I can do another one. If I go to map again, let's see if it works because I do not remember if I done it correctly. 192.168.1.53. And I'm going to say user 2. See if it lets me in. No, it won't let me in because I don't think I actually create an F, um, a sharing for the FD. Sorry, for the user 2. Anyway, I'm sure you get the the idea how it works. In fact, yes, is user one. If I put user two, for example, here for the guest,
let's connect that. Let's do it again. Map network. One nine two. One six eight one five three. Backslash user two. And now it should work. In fact, it works. User two and the password. There we go. We are inside user two, and it works. I got the hundred gigabytes. I'm going to disconnect again because I don't need don't need this. Now, you have more options. As I said, this is a very short tutorial on how to get started and how to create FTP and uh, sharings. Once you do that, you can start sharing all your music and videos. Uh, the beauty of this system, it comes up with uh, part of it, you can install plugins. And this is the one of the best things you can do with this system. Now, uh, the way I got installed, and because of the firewalls and everything, it seems not loading any uh, plugins at all. It usually comes with a list and you just click it and install it, or you can actually upload your own. If you go to the uh, FreeNAS website, you can download all of them, then browse and upload, and then create, you know, what happens, you got here all the installed plugins, yeah, you can have all the configurations. Here you can actually set up the SSH on port 22. You can allow to log in as root with password. Again, this is the FTP that we already set up. If you got UPS, you can do that by LAN and uh, set up to UPS. So that you, you can have uh, the uh, UPS be controlled by the FreeNAS. And that's it, really. You know, this is, uh, as I said, very short uh, tutorial. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you... Uh, Follow me on Twitter and the website, and also Google+. Plus. Thanks again for uh, watching. Don't forget to share and like my videos. Thanks very much. See you next time.